When I first read about this concept more than a year ago, to this day, it has completely changed my approach to how I view success, however you define the term success. Because suddenly becoming successful became so much easier, so much more manageable. And the concept that I'm talking about is called talent stacking, where instead of trying to become an expert at one particular skill, you instead develop a number of skills at an above average level that work well together, that can give you a competitive advantage above everyone else. And suddenly becoming successful becomes far more manageable because if you focus on just one single thing, you need to be world-class. You need to be among the best in the world at that one thing. Think Tiger Woods in golf or or Lionel Messi in football or Elon Musk in business but realistically for 99% of us we're not going to get anywhere near that level therefore building a set of skills at an above average level around that main skill would make a lot more sense. An example of a very kind of simple talent stack significantly accelerating someone's career would be Jacob Clifford who's an economics teacher in the US and he combined a small number of skills and created a YouTube channel teaching economics and now he's one of the most well-known economics teachers on the planet. So he has his main skill set, right, of teaching economics because that's his profession, but his subset of skills that helps him build his YouTube channel and consequently differentiate himself from the other millions of economics teachers were presentation skills to keep his viewers engaged, videography to film his YouTube videos, video editing to edit his videos, graphic design to edit his thumbnails, and by combining these skills, they become greater than the sum of their parts even though he was only slightly above average at most of those skill sets, they still added up to exponentially skyrocket his success. Here I am. This computer had something that very few computers at the time had, the ability to edit video. And that is tip number four, develop skills. For me, it happened to be understanding economics and being able to explain it to other people and being able to video edit. I needed those three things if I was gonna make these videos and start doing what I'm doing. Whatever industry you want to carve a career out of, you have your main skill, maybe it's being a pilot or a scientist or a teacher, but then you develop a small group of sub skills that complement the main skill. Focus on one main skill and five sub skills. I think most people, in order to be known in their field need to become an expert in one specific thing. I'm using this same strategy for my own business, so I make videos on productivity. I am in no way the world's leading expert in productivity, but I don't need to be in order to compete in the productivity space if I have the right talent stack. So when I first started my business, my main skill was productivity, I guess. Then I started learning how to edit videos and uploaded my first video on YouTube. In the process, I added video editing to that skill set. I then downloaded Photoshop and started learning how to use it uh, to make the thumbnails. So I added graphic design to my skill set. Then I needed to learn about SEO to rank my videos. And so I added that to my skill set. And after a while, all these kind of skill sets, they added up. So I'm still working on building that skill set up. For example, sometime in the future, maybe this year or next year, I want to write a book. So I'll start adding the skill set of writing to my talent stack. And it's not like I'm trying to be an expert with every skill set. I think aiming to be in the top top 10%, in the top 15% with all the skill sets that you're developing is kind of a good target to aim for. And this way you can very kind of strategically build your own success. And that's what I love about talent stacking, that you can strategically and efficiently move yourself closer to your main goals. And one of the ways of building a new talent stack in the fastest way possible is using the Brilliant platform. So Brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video, is an online learning platform which aims to radically change how people learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Over the last year or so, I've been adding cryptocurrency and Web 3.0 to my talent stack because one of my business projects is heading in that direction. And Brilliant, with their cryptocurrency courses, have been invaluable in breaking down really quite 
complex ideas and concepts into easy to digest bite-sized chunks of information. So Brilliant do that incredibly well. They make learning fun and interactive and I can't stress how important that is. If you want to learn and actually kind of retain that information effectively, you need to be engaged and actively learning. So with the cryptocurrency course I took, there's 19 interactive quizzes and more than 230 concepts and exercises. So you can see straight away, this is a platform that you learn by doing, not just kind of reading black and white text from a textbook or listening to a lecturer talking. So if you're looking at building up your talent stack, then I don't think there's a much more efficient way than using the Brilliant platform. I really do recommend you check them out. You can join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant, get started, for free at brilliant.org forward slash project Elon. The link is in the description and if you click that link the first 200 listeners will receive 20% discount off their annual membership subscription. Building your own talent stack. If you're just starting out building your own talent stack, it's really important to start with a skill that you naturally enjoy and that you have kind of a unique competitive advantage. So I started back in 2013 with productivity and motivation because those were the two kind of skill sets that came naturally to me. I could talk all day about them. I could read books, I could listen to podcasts, I could spend literally hours a day learning and educating myself in this field. And it was a very kind of streamlined learning, meaning I didn't have to force myself to learn about it because I just naturally wanted to. I think it's important to make sure the skills that you're developing are somewhat evergreen, meaning you'll be able to use that skill for decades to come. So public speaking is a good example of that, or writing, because you're always going to need to do these two things to communicate your ideas to other people, even in 30 or 40 years time, right? So some examples of powerful talent styles are data analytics and storytelling. So you can tell a story with the data and give meaning to it instead of just presenting a bunch of numbers, right? Or art and sales is another good talent stack because if you're an artist, you'll create your artwork, then you need to sell it, right? And that's where the sales skills comes in. Or health and fitness with marketing because maybe you can become a personal trainer and market your services a lot better. My favorite skill set is actually content creation and combine that with literally whatever field you're in. Because just like Jacob Clifford, who I mentioned earlier did, he combined a relatively normal job, so being a teacher, with content creation, which completely skyrocketed his career. And I did the same thing. I combined productivity and self-development with content creation, and it's helped my career and my business also. The idea here really is to kind of put yourself in a position where you're not stuck in a zero sum game, where you're kind of directly competing with everyone else, because there's a far more efficient and strategic way of approaching it. Everyone is going to have their own advantages, their own look, their own natural talent. So by being very deliberate and intentional with building your talent stack and carving out your own path is, in my opinion at least, a better way to go for most people. And the concept of talent stacking is playing a massive role in how I'm now deliberately and intentionally kind of building up and growing my own talent stack and have been over the last years or so. So I hope that it can do the same for you too. And if you like this video, then I made another video on how to achieve your most ambitious goal fast. And if you combine talent stacking from this video and using the concept of sprints, which I talk about in that video, you'll be absolutely unstoppable. Alternatively, I made another video on how I manage my time to double my productivity. You can click on the card on the screen and once again, do check out this video sponsor Brilliant. It's one of the fastest ways you can kind of build your own talent stack. There's a link in the description below.